it's your girl Alicia Lash and I'm back to y'all with another lit video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Bam! What's up, y'all? What's going on today, y'all? What's up? What's up, my fam? Y'all, today I'm coming to y'all with the blue crab mukbang. Y'all, I know it's been a minute since we had some blue crabs, but today, y'all, we are celebrating something. 100 subscribers! Yes! I'm so very excited, y'all. I literally reached 100 subscribers. I'm a little bit over 100 right now, but I wanted to celebrate with you guys. I'm supposed to have my balloons in the background and everything like that, but y'all, it's a laughing thing. I was just so excited. It caught me by surprise, so yeah, y'all, that's what we're doing today, and we're just going to eat some delicious blue crabs together, y'all, and call it a nice night, y'all. I took a good nap. I went to work today, and yeah, it was just a lovely day today, y'all. I want to go ahead and just celebrate with y'all. I got my shots, my blue crabs. It's been a minute for some, since we have some blue crabs. So we're just going to get straight into the video, y'all. I know I'm talking a lot because that's what I do. Y'all already know. <laughs> Let's take the first shot together, y'all. Y'all ready? Okay, I hope y'all got y'all shot. I already hit the blunt. You know what I'm saying? But hope y'all got y'all shot. So let's go ahead and take a shot. I got two shots right here. So the first shot right here, we're going to take out the dunk, um, our Dave & Buster's glass, shot glass. So cheers. Cheers to you guys. I love y'all so much because without y'all, I would not, would not reach 100 subscribers because y'all, it's my support team. You know what I'm saying? So, let's go. Cheers. Woo! Woo! Woo. This one right here is Chase, y'all. So, let me show y'all. Oh, can you see it? That's a little juice. I'm gonna drink this for Chase. That's a little bit, not much. Woo! Okay. So we got that shot, baby. We're gonna set this to the side for the minute for uh in a minute, okay? Because that was kind of strong. Woo! Y'all, let's get straight into these crabs. I got my water on the side too, so don't worry. But y'all, it's been a minute since I had some blue crabs, y'all. I missed y'all so much. Let's get straight into this one. This one ain't got no claws on it, but it's fine. You know, it's fine. It's fine. I already got my bag right here, y'all. So we are already on point, okay? <laughs> the girl is on point. Got my bag. Everything I need. So. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. Y'all already busting. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, I got my butter out, my butter sauce right here too. I did with it. Come on, y'all. Oh, my cucumber fell. Darn it. It's fine. We got a lot of them. <laughs> we got a lot of them. But y'all, look at my butter sauce. I had to go grab my butter sauce. This is my butter sauce. It's got um garlic. Got garlic, onion, salted butter. I'm not because it got salt in there, you know. It's salted butter. I didn't want unsalted butter because if you get that unsalted butter, it don't taste like shit. So, I had to eat the salted butter. But anyways, let's get back into these crabs, y'all, like, because y'all are hungry. Let's dip this right into the home. Ooh, let's clean it first. My bad, y'all. Let me scoot the table up a little bit so y'all can see. See what's going on with your girl. Okay, I missed y'all. Y'all. Oh, shit. Mm. Mm. How many of y'all like this stuff right here? This stuff right here. That uh, cheese. That's what they call it back in the day. 
I still had called it back in the day. That cheese, all my cousins used to like it. Some of my cousins liked it. Not a lot. Just some of them. <laughs> back in the day, when we had cookout, it was like, oh. That sauce ain't that good, y'all. I ain't make this butter sauce that good. I don't know what it is. I think I put too much garlic in it. But you can never have too much garlic. That's what I'm like. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, how y'all doing today? I hope y'all having a, had a good day today. Y'all, it's a little late night video, y'all. A little late night video. I was like, let's pull these crabs out. We gotta celebrate the night, honey. Not a night going by, another night going by that we ain't finna celebrate. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. Mm. I feel that shot already, y'all. <laughs> That shot coming through. Mm, go right there. Slide that nail right underneath the penis. Whoop. Ah. Whoop. Pull that right on. Mmm, <laughs> look at that. Mmm. Don't even need those styles. It's so good. Mmm. So good. Mm. Y'all. I'm gonna still use my sauce though, even at, <laughs> even though it's not all that good, I'm gonna still use it. Let me see. Oh, dip, dip that thing, dip that thing. Mmm, it's good. It's not bad. Mmm, it just could have been better. My water. Mmm, drink some water, y'all. Mmm. Woo! But yeah, y'all. <clears throat> So how's y'all day going? Well, it's at night. I keep saying that shit. Listen, what y'all want to talk about, okay? Or y'all just want me to eat? Like, shut up and eat, bitch. <laughs> now, I'm trying to stop cutting so much. You're 2023, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> mm. Let me eat some cucumber, y'all, to refresh this thing. Look at my big one right here. Let's do the big one. <laughs> Let's do that big. Big old, big old cucumber with some butter sauce on that thing. Wing, 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 wing. Cause we got the onions in there. Mmm. Look at that. Ooh, dip it. Dip. Ooh. Stir that thing up. Mmm. Yes. Ooh. Where the onion at? Shit. <laughs> there you go. Mmm. I got shells in my mouth. Mmm. There you go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Y'all. Mm -hmm. That bite was so good, it made me do the happy dance. Shake it to the shake it to the head. 
It's not big at all. <clears throat> it ain't that big, but it's nice. It got, oh, juice. That's the juice there. Break that leg off like that, though. Mmm. Yes, baby. Yeah. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Hmm. Look like some good food crap. So y'all, listen. What? Ah. Uh, oh. I got a nice little story time for y'all. <clears throat> Do y'all remember? How I told y'all the story time last time. Okay, so let's get back into it. If you not, if you new to this channel, you know what I'm saying, you wouldn't hear like six, seven months ago, you won't know the story. So I'm just going to start from the beginning. I only told like a little bit of it, so I'm going to go back on the story, okay? This is a very exciting story, so I hope y'all got y'all seafood, y'all blunt, y'all look like anything y'all got that y'all need, okay? You know, everything y'all need, you know what I'm saying? So sit back, kick back, and relax. We're going to tell the story, and it's so good, okay? So let's get straight into it, y'all. I'm gonna eat and talk. Mmm. Ooh, that thing was too juicy. But so, y'all, this, this is gonna be the story time. I'm sorry, y'all. This hair is <laughs> literally in my way, y'all. I'm sorry, but listen, y'all. So this is a story time. We're gonna start story off like this. So I was reading this um novel, you know, and it was very interesting. Very, very interesting. And we're just gonna start from the top. I'm gonna tell y'all this story. Okay. So the story was like, it was like, you know what I'm saying? So it was this daddy. It was this daddy, his daughter, and that was it. They had this big ass castle. The daddy was a little, you know, a little H O E, you know. So he was the king. He was the king of the kingdom, the community, everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Like he ruled everything. He ruled the the whole entire the whole entire village. Cause that's where they live in a village. This is way, way back, y'all. Way back since y'all even thought of Ooh, Lord. But he ruled the entire village. Like, everything he ruled it. You know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> so the king and his daughter live in the big-ass castle, right? I'm sorry y'all cussing, but <laughs> I'm trying to work on it. But okay, listen. We just gonna keep this shit real authentic, y'all, okay? But the king, he, he, the king and his daughter live in the big castle. So the king was very kind of wicked a little bit, you know, bittersweet, you know, when it came to his family and anybody else around him. He was a real ruly king, you know, very ruly. Everybody respected him. Nobody could defeat him when it came to battling and the fight or anything like that. So he was all my king. So one day, the king... So like I said, he he did the street. He was a Rolling Stone. He went. He want to do what he do. He went outside. Did what he do. So one day the king woke up and he was like, "I want a son. Why don't I have a son?" You know, back in the day it was that was what it was. When you had had a son, you ruled the world. You ruled the, the village, everything. Cause he needed a son to take over his legacy. You know, he only had a daughter. That's all he had. And the other kings that was beneath him, they used to talk about him. They used to talk about this man because he didn't have a son. And he was the top. He like, well, I, damn, I need a son. Like, <laughs> like, what's going on? So one day, he woke up and went to the witch doctor. The witchcraft doctor. She's not a doctor, but she was like a witchcraft, you know. A doctor. I'm going to say that. So the witchcraft doctor, he walked up to her in the village and he said... Well, I have a son. He asked her, will she have a son? Will he have a son? And she said, you will not have a son. <clears throat> but who will have a son is your daughter. And when she does have her son, he will 
try to defeat you and he will try to take over your kingdom and go against you in all and everything that you do in his work. Yes, that happened. <laughs> oh, that king got so mad. That king got so mad. He looked at that with um, that with crap dog and said, What? Are you kidding me? No, no, no man of this will rule my kingdom, my village, nothing like that. That king stormed off so fast. That king stormed off so fast. When he stormed off, he went back to his castle. Mm. He went back to his castle. When he got back to his castle, he stormed back into his castle, y'all. Mm, look at that. His daughter literally seen him storm back in the castle. His daughter like, why my dad so mad? What's going on? Mind you, she's cool. This. She don't know what's going on. So the dad barges into the castle, goes into his room, slams the door behind him with his guards and with him. He tells his guards something weird is going on. So the daughter, mind you, she saw her dad come in the castle. So she goes into his room. Like, dad, what's really going on? Dad, what's going on? Why did you barge in the castle like that? Why did you barge in the house like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's wrong? Literally, her dad had turned around. He said, you are not my daughter. You will betray me. One day, you will have a son, and he will betray me. You will try to take over my kingdom and everything that I stand for. So, that was it for the dad. He said, guards get him. The guards attacked attacked her like literally took her by both arms took her by both arms like this she said dad i never do nothing like that to you i will never do nothing like that to you like what what are you talking about he didn't want to hear it you know what i'm saying this is black daddy you black he, he didn't want to hear none of that you know she said i never do nothing like that to you he said guards take her down to the dungeon he said take her down to the dungeon he forgot that's his daughter i don't know if he forgot or what but he just said take her down to the dungeon he ain't care. Ain't nobody gonna take over his kingdom. So the guards took him down, took her down to the dungeon, literally. Now, mind you, back in the the way back when I'm gonna call wait, I didn't even tell y'all their names. Her name is Ana. And the daddy name was Poe. So Pope, he said that uh, excuse me. <laughs> but he told the guards to take his daughter down to the dungeon, right? Mm. Y'all, let's take this other shot. I ain't even eating crabs like that, but it's fine. It's a good ass story, right? <laughs> let's take the other shot. Y'all can, you know what I'm saying? Take the other shot. Look. There we go. It's in the, y'all see? Oh, shit. <laughs> Cheers to y'all. My lovely people. Love y'all. <laughs> oh gosh y'all uh, but y'all that shot was really good but so they took the lady down to the dungeon he was like take her down to the dungeon so the guards took his daughter down to the dungeon and we'll need to chase after that shot oh that feels good going down <laughs> oh I feel it yes honey Whew. but they took her down to the dungeon y'all now mind you back when Ana, what I call her name? Her name was Ana. I'm making these names up, y'all, because I don't want to use the real names. So, Ana, mind you, when she was like 15, 16, one day when she was walking to the market, she ran into this guy, and he was ruling. He, he could do anything. He was very powerful. He could make anything happen. Literally anything. Get you out of any type of situation, anything like that. Like, whatever you wanted. Mm, if he liked you, then he'll make it happen. So, mind you, she had met him, and his name was Ro. Ro... This was like 15, 15 years ago. So imagine how old she is now. Okay. But she was still, still in the castle because that's just how it was back in the day. She was living with her dad. So. Ooh, look at that. So, mind you, she was very close in. I'm going to just go back a little bit. She was very close in. As a child, and you know what I'm saying, like, still, until that day, she was still close in. But once her daddy heard that situation, he just didn't give a fuck. 
But like I said, she was close to him as a child, so she never had a boyfriend. She never, you know what I'm saying, experienced a man before. She was all, had always been closed in the castle. Her dad did not play, okay? He did not look like that. So, like I said, they had back to the present, present date. So, I just had to take y'all back so y'all know what, you know, that little tea right there. So, mm. so, they took, mind you, they took her down to the dungeon. When they took her down to the dungeon, we got my little shirts. When they took her down to the dungeon, y'all, she was so devastated. She was like, Dad, I have never done nothing like that to you. What are you talking about? Take her down. She, he didn't want to hear none of that. So when she got down to the dungeon, y'all, they literally fed, fed her bread and, a, and water for two, three months. Y'all, after two, three months, she hadn't got enough of, enough of it. She was barely hanging on by a limb. She could barely, like, you know what I'm saying, withstand that dungeon any longer, like, they had her had her down for like two, three months, getting her number bread and water in a little small window that she could barely see out of with one eye. It was a little circle on the side of the castle that she could see through. Down in the dungeon. Mm. Oh, I bit my tongue. Ah, shit. But y'all, <laughs> while she was down in this dungeon for two, three months, like I said, she was tired of it. Her dad, they, he didn't give a fuck about him. They fed her bread and water, and she just remembered. I met this guy. His name was Ro. She was like, you know, this is the last straw. So she decided to play to pray to Ro, the only guy slash God that she knew. She was a dude. Like I said, she didn't talk to him. She didn't have relationships, nothing like that. Growing up, nothing. Her dad didn't allow it, you know? So... Mm. She called upon him. She said, I promise, Ro, if you get me out of this situation, oh, Ro, please get me a situation. We were a little happy, happy forever. Like, we were trying to just finesse him, but he already knew because he knew everything. <laughs> he knew everything already. But he just still wanted her, you know, as his pleasure, as his trophy, you know. Because it happened to women. But he decided to take her in favor. So she prayed to him. Called on him, told him to come save her at the dungeon. Girl, he showed up. Girl of a world watching this. <laughs> he showed up. Now, mind you, Ro, he very powerful. He could have turned into, he could have easily blew up the castle or blew up just the part that they was in and blew the door down and caused a big ass scene, you know, with the guards and they would have to rush and they're like, what's going on? What's going on? You know, and then, you know what I'm saying, why he tried to save her? Could have caused a big scene, but no. Oh, shit. <laughs> That piece of crab meat. Mm. Rose is very smart. He was real smart. He just didn't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? He could and get away with it. But it's something that just he did just didn't want to do. Because if he did all that, he knew that, you know, <clears throat> it would just be too much. And he was a peaceful guy. He was very peaceful. So y'all, he called, he he heard her and he came. And guess what he did? He turned himself in. Now mind you, the castle flow was made, was made of gold. So the castle flow being made of gold. He literally just turned himself into liquid gold and slid along the sides of the hallway seams and got in the mind you was gold. So he blended in with the walls. Slid right in and got her. Got in right up at the turn her inside the gold. Slid her. Bloop. Turned the side of gold as soon as he got in love. Ain't say nothing. Just tap. And it turned the side of gold. Melted. Went out the damn door. Slid through the damn thing. <clears throat> and mind you, they didn't even have to go down the hallway because they it was a little hole right there. A little hole. And remember I told y'all about the little hole that was there? That in Casito. Now, mind you, made a liquid gold, so he just literally just they slid right at that little hole, made a liquid gold. Nobody ever knew. Nobody never knew, y'all. <laughs> Nobody never knew. Like, so until until a few minutes. Until a few minutes later. Not even minutes. A little while later. So Ro, he he's Pretty, pretty much rescued her 
And yeah, they made it. They was made liquid, liquid gold. They slid through the little crack, the little window. It was a little circle, like big as almost big as a coin, no bigger than a quarter. And yeah, that happened. He rescued her. Guess where they went? Once they got out into the village, they literally slithered into like the forest, settled, and he literally snapped his fingers. They turned back into humans in the flesh. So once that happened, y'all, it was up from there. They literally, she's literally like this, staring at him. He's staring at her back like, now he cool, he cool. So he's just like, what's up? They in the woods at this point. He done saved her and they done turned, he did like this, blah. He snapped his fingers, now they, and they standing face to face in the woods, far away from the castle, don't have no worries. He took her, she didn't have, she didn't even have a chance to say anything. She was just like, hey. And he swooped her, whoop, by her, his feet, I mean, by his arms, underneath her legs, carried her like this, and whoop, they literally floated off to the castle, his castle, which was high up. And yeah, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for the rest of the video. Ha! <laughs> I just wanted to do that with y'all because, you know what I'm saying, like, stay tuned. This is a good video. I just wanted to get y'all, stay tuned. This is be it's to be continued. They on the way to the castle. Mind you, she finna have a son, so you never know how it's finna play out. This is this is epic, y'all. Like, stay tuned. And that's why I'm gonna stop with that. <laughs> y'all, this seafood was so good. I hope y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe, y'all. I just wanna hop on here and do this mukbang with you guys. And yeah, we celebrated 100 subscribers today. We're a little bit over 100. So make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Leave y'all comments down below. Tell me how y'all like the video as well, okay? This is the end. These blue crabs were so good, y'all. The butter sauce could have been a little bit better, as y'all see, with the onions and everything, you know? I think I kind of overcooked it, but it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, like, share, and subscribe. Leave your thumbs up, and I will see y'all in the next video, okay? Bye! Love y'all. Hit that subscribe button. If you are new, I appreciate y'all for coming over and subscribing to your girl, okay? Stay tuned for more lit videos, more lit mukbangs, and everything. All the above, okay? See y'all later. Bye! Peace.